Hey guys, and welcome back to Working Aussie's Homestead. I realize it's a little bit into April, but we are going to go over March's budget and create April's. Let's get started. We're gonna go into our Every Dollar Budgeting app. It's gonna ask us if we are ready for April. We're not quite, so we're actually gonna go up to the top, go to March, and I want to preface this because if you're new here, you're gonna look at our budget and go, what are you guys doing? Um, so let me just preface this by saying that we do have a little bit of cushion extra, so even though the budget did go over unexpectedly, it's okay. So. Um, we did not bring in the income that we expected to for the month of March. Um, we did, however, bring in more on the homestead as well as boarding some dogs. Um, we did use a little bit out of our savings. We had all of our regular expenses. Um, however, we were not prepared for our gas and feed budget this month. So. If you guys were here for the making of March's budget, we put in, I think, $350. We spent over $600 on gas in the month of March. So that is a big chunk of the amount that's over budget. Um, also, feed was $610 last month, and that was over $200 over our budget because we only put in $400. So. Um, having pregnant does, you go through a lot more hay, it's a little crazy, but that is in there and it's covered. Um, we did less on the herding trials and lessons though. However, we did also get several small medical bills in the mail, so we went ahead and paid those. So that was an extra $225. So. If you're looking at our budget, it says we're $786 over for the month of March, but it'll all work out. It's balance. So let's go ahead and dive into April's budget. So let's get started here. All right. So again, if you're new to every dollar, it does transfer over everything from the previous month into the new month for the budget. So that's why we go through line by line and adjust accordingly. So um, for the month, Josh is out of town for three weeks. So his income from Starbucks is just going to be 600. And we're going to put on here for me 1300. We're going to do 500 on the homestead for income. Um, we have, let's see, let me take this out and then maybe, here we go. Okay. Um, we're going to change this. I am boarding a couple dogs. So this is going to be, whoop. 200, not 208. So $200 for boarding. All right, let it get all caught up here. Maybe. There we go. Okay. This looks a little bit better. All right. Mortgage payment is the same. Water was 4151. All right, gas is the same. Electricity this month is 182.01. Uh, trash is 33.01 again. Phone, storage unit, internet. So I'm going to take this down to 20 bucks. Um, so my goal this month is to really just eat what we have here. And then I'm going to take this back down to 350. All right, insurance is still the same. Feed, I'm gonna go down to 300. Um, we did buy a round bale from our neighbors for 60 bucks. And so 
I think that will help a lot with the feed. And also because our pastures are coming back green, I'll be able to start rotating everybody here like within a week or two. So hopefully that can be on there. So um, taking this out of here, taking rooting hormones. So one thing we did though is back in February, we went ahead and ordered our meat chicks. So they are headed this way in a week or two, um, but we went ahead and put on there to wait to pay for them until this month. So 162, 64. All right. There we go. Okay. Now it's on there. All right. I can cross this off here. We are going to do um, dog and cat food. And I think it was like 206. I'll go back in and adjust it exactly. Um, but 206 on there. And then Josh's loan and my medical. So we're going to take this off of here. So, um, let's see. All right. Well, again, it is one of those months where you just pray a lot and you really hope that everything ends up all right. Um, now I know that we will probably have a little bit more income than what is written down on here, but honestly, as far as expenses go, that's kind of the bare minimum. So we'll see how the month goes. I hope it goes well. Uh, we are going to be uh, start selling some of our produce and some of our eggs. So that's exciting. But don't let last month and this month um, discourage you guys because we are still so excited um, for this month and what it has in store. We've got a lot going on. So, um, you know, just a couple things going on this month. We are uh, partnering with a friend who owns a yoga studio. We're going to do a yoga with goats class. Um, we are also going to be um, going to a couple of friends events this, this month. Uh, Ray and I attended our first herding trial the first weekend of April, uh, this, this past weekend. So we were very excited about that. We brought home another title and we brought home some cues and points for it, her next title. So um, we're pretty excited about that. And then at the end of the month, uh, if you guys are not familiar with Homesteaders of America, they are also hosting an event in Tennessee at the end of the month. And so Josh is actually going to be volunteering at the event. So he will be gone again for uh, two or three days for that event down in Tennessee. But we're excited. It's a busy month planned. We've got a lot going on and we have... Uh, work is picking back up. It's getting busier at work since it's busy travel season again. So especially for my store, my store is very much a travel store. We're right off the highway. And so business just keeps picking up. Um, but along with that, we've been focusing on planting the garden. We have two goats in milk right now. And we have two goats due at the end of the month. So it'll be a wild ride of a month again as it always is but i hope you guys are doing well and thank you so much for tuning in today if you have not already go and hit that subscribe button go hit the like button and give me some ideas of how to be a little bit more frugal this month so i look forward to hearing from it thanks guys bye